Hello everyone, I'm Vikram P. Madhuri here. Welcome to GH Soft Tech. In this session, we are going to discuss about the interactive LV report to display accounts header and item data. So in this, like uh, basically we would have two screens and uh, we are going to design two screens. And if you click on the first screen, you'll be getting the second screen, which is an interactive report. We'll be doing only two screens in this for uh, simple understanding of the concept. Here first, let's have a look at the tables that we have to use, make use of this BKPF is accounts header data. So you'll have this particular table, uh, which will have the uh, couple of fields which are like uh, BUKRS, BLNR. BUKRS stands for the company code, BLNR stands for the account number, and GJAHR is the fiscal year variant that we have in that particular thing. So these three fields are common in the first and second tables, that is BKPF and BSEG. But we'll be taking BLNR as the, you know, uh, Belner as the common field link between the two tables because account number is something which is unique. So I'll also open it in a BSEG as well. This is another table that is the accounts header and this is accounts item data. So we have header data and we have item data for these two things. In these two tables we will be taking a, a couple of fields so and we'll be creating a global structure. The two options that we have either we can use a global structure and then we can make use of it or you can locally define a structure and then make use of that so i'm doing it in a global structure so i have already also explained in the previous uh, projects like how to define a, a structure in the in locally in the program in this we are going for the global structure so that like it will be easy for us to create it so we'll be creating a structure here and in the structure we have accounts header structure and in this we'll we'll have a couple of fields from the DKPF table. So we'll consider consider this PLART as well. And I'm I'm giving some four fields here. You can give more fields as well. And uh, for for our clarity or for a simplicity, I'm I'm using only four fields here. Way which we are doing right now, we can do it for even even if we have. 100 fields also you can do it comfortably because we are we are creating a global structure and then making use of it so we can do that so first we are creating a structure for BKP. similarly we'll create a structure for bseg as well and then once we have done these two things we'll be creating a program which makes use of these uh, structures that we have created now now uh, once we activate this successfully then we'll, give, we'll be creating a new structure called zst underscore bseg which actually takes the fields from bseg table and uh, let's let's take bseg table so we, we will be taking something like bilnar bilnar gzhr so i'm taking a couple of fields here Accounts item data. Now here we'll be taking all the all the data elements as well. And uh, we'll save and activate it similarly as we have done for the previous uh, structure. Click on the local object and then you click on activate. When you click on activate, you will get a uh, Sometimes you'll get a pop-up wherein it will give you a warning. Just ignore the warning. Say yes at all if you get this. This is a basically for enhancement category. Successfully activated both the structures. Let's start the program. Now we are in the C38, C38 transaction. So here we are writing, creating a new program which actually represents all the you know, account data and account header data and item data. Here we have... I'm storing it in the local object now. So instead of declaring the structures, okay, for that we need to, it's mandatory for us to give the tables. In the previous project, I have done it in the latest editor. So I, there was no need for giving the SLIS uh, type, but if it's an old editor, then you have to give SLIS. So I know I have also got a question in the comments that, you know, uh, I'm not, no system is not identifying the SLIS uh, structure. So you need to give this in the first uh, line so that you, it will, a system will identify it later point of time. So it underscore BKPF type standard table of
ht underscore bkpf and then we have then we have the bskg so the header and item data now we have this ht underscore fct1 type slas underscore t underscore t underscore field cat underscore alv so you will not get the predictions in the old uh, you know uh, editor so if at all if you are doing an old editor then you can use it so otherwise you will automatically get the predictions alv and then we have blue underscore bkpf type st underscore bkpf w underscore bsg type st underscore bsg w underscore fct1 type slis underscore field at underscore alb and w underscore fct2 type slis underscore field at underscore alb these are the things that we have to define this is for the first screen and second screen the internal table and work areas for the first screen internal tables and work areas for the second screen is what we have to define here so once it's been done so uh, in the old editor it is also it's also suggestible to go for tables as well so you have to mention the tables that you are making use of so we have kp of bscg other tables that we're taking so here we are not going for the top of page for simplicity we can later add top of page if you get a clarity on the interactive so i'm mostly focusing on the interactive part here in this particular uh, you know um, project s underscore belner for bkpf hyphen belner these are the things that we have and then we go for select uh, select all the fields that we have in the structure so let me let me take this uh, fields in the bkpf table so in the in the bkpf we have these fields so these fields needs to be selected from the these needs these fields needs to be selected from the first table it's bkpf table that's a header table from bkpf into table it underscore bkpf where belner in s underscore belner this is what we have the select statement and instead of going for the field catalogs we can make use of the reuse underscore lb underscore uh, field catalog underscore merge so we have this reuse underscore lb underscore field catalog underscore merge that's the catalog underscore this is the this is the structure that we are going to make use of to avoid the field catalogs you can also build the field catalogs but we just want to skip that so we can just write like this the structure name we already have it structure name is uh, z zst underscore kpf now once it's been done so we can call this particular pattern and you can get this uh, reuse underscore element underscore feed get underscore display so we will first check out the first output we we'll see the output for the first screen and then we'll look for the second screen so first screen we need to go for I underscore callback program is also mandatory so we'll just give it as syrepid and uh, user command top of page we are not giving user command is what we need to update so we'll do that it underscore bkpf is the internal table that we have here and then we have here it underscore fcat fct1 is the is a field catalog uh, table so let's see that output for the first screen then we'll go ahead with the second screen and we'll focus on how to get the second screen in this particular output so here we need to give it a zst z and uh, here also we need to give it a z because uh, we have done it in globally so this has been fixed and uh, we'll just activate it and uh, see the output for the first screen 
then we'll update the code for the second screen the program is active now so let's see the output i'll give the values randomly from thousand to some ten thousand so i'm just giving some random values here let's see if we have the data for that got the data for these values like we have got these values for this particular document number now that we have got the data output for the first screen let's do for the second screen for that we need to uncomment this i underscore user command and in this i'll give it as something like second any name that you give here we need to create a create a form with that name so we'll go down and we'll create a form form second whatever it might be the name can be anything that you choose but in the when you are when you are working on that project you have to make sure you follow the naming conventions you know given by the client so we just need to go for the pattern then again we need to go for uh, we need to go for the you know uh, we need to go for the reuse and scale and scale and scale but here here we need to say using c like this why you come and d SLIS underscore cell field cell field so you can just check this this is a SLIS underscore cell field is actually a structure which has been defined in the SLIS so if it all in the old editors SLIS will not be there so SLIS will, will be there only will be coming only when you mention that in the type pools in the top we have the tab index and all these things this is a defined structure that's what I wanted to explain here we will be writing a logic here read read it read it underscore dkpf bkpf input w underscore bkpf we have read table it underscore bkpf into w underscore bkpf with key with key blue underscore SLIS underscore cell field hyphen tab index. Now this is very important line. We need to understand this. This enables the program to go from first screen to second screen. So what are we telling to the system is like read table IT underscore BKP, BKP up, that's the first table into the into the work area with table key. So this SLIS underscore cell field hyphen tab index will be having the line number on which you have on the first screen if you click on the 15th line then 15 will be stored here in this value let's check the syntax for this we'll give it as d actually this is the this is the condition that we have to go for read statement and after that we need to write the select statement for the second table so select from bk bseg into table it underscore bseg where belnr dlnr equal to w underscore dkpf hyphen belnr so what are we telling to the system is like you know whatever we have read from the internal table to work area from the first table that corresponding for that corresponding value we bring the data from the second table is what we are telling to the system so after this we'll be again building the field catalogs for the second screen same as we have done it for the first screen so we are uncommenting this so here we are writing the structure name it's a zst underscore ZST underscore BSEG. This is the one. In the field catalog, we have passed the field catalog for the second screen. So we have we are going for the reuse underscore read underscore display. This is the first. Uh, this is the you know function module we have to use for the output. So we'll go for this uh, field catalog. In the field catalog, we'll be updating this IT underscore FCT two, and uh, here we'll be writing this second table name that is. So may be different in the second table. it underscore bseg so we'll check output now so once we're calling this uh, reuse underscore admin underscore field catalog underscore merge for the second table we are getting this structure name and uh, the field catalogs and then we have given the reuse underscore admin underscore display for the second table I mean,